everybody. Welcome back to Wigs with Steph. I'm Steph. This is Diva by Ellen Villa. She's a heat-friendly synthetic wig. Her fibers are pretty soft. The ends are a little dry, but if anything like that just makes it feel even more like human hair. And I'm wearing this wig in the color Candy Blonde Rooted. I've been dying to try this color, guys. Like I've seen it on so many other people and they always look so beautiful in it. And I was like, hey, I have to get my hands on it because look at this color. So the color description for it is dark strawberry blonde tipped with pearl platinum and pearl white with dark shaded roots. Now, you guys know I love blonde wigs. I just do. I always feel so much more like myself when I wear blonde wigs. And I also really, really adore dark roots. Now, the reason why is because my own bio hair is darker. I have pretty thin bio hair underneath my wigs, guys, um, but my bio hair does like to peek out, and it's kind of impossible for me to hide it. So on wigs that don't have roots, I just find it's kind of difficult for me to like make it look natural on myself because if I put my hair back at all, you will see my darker bio hair. So what I like to do and what I recommend to you guys who also have bio hair, if it matches the root or is close, like it doesn't have to be an exact match, but just close enough, go and take your finger or a fine tooth comb or a wide tooth comb and just take your hair out from behind the cap like this. And then you can just brush it back. Look how natural that looks. Does that not look so good? <laughs> and I have thin hair. So if I can do this with really thin hair, if you have thick hair, you can obviously do it. And if you don't have hair, don't feel like you have to do this, guys. This is only something that I like to do because my bio hair sticks out so far forward. So if I pull my hair back and you see my bio hair and then you see the cap, it just like, like you can kind of tell so that it's a wig. But at the same time, does it really matter if people know you wear wigs? I'm kind of at the point in my like wig wearing journey where it's like, I really don't care. I'm, I'm more than happy to tell people I wear wigs because they just make me so happy. And it's kind of like gone are the days where people would go to the hair salon and get extensions or dye their hair and they were all hush hush about it, right? Like gone are those days. Now, people when they get their hair done and someone compliments them on their hair, whether it's extensions or dyeing. And yes, I am plugging wigs into the same category because to me, putting a wig on your head is the exact same thing as going to the salon and getting your hair colored or getting it cut. It's altering your hair. So in my mind, it, it's it's literally the same thing. It's the same so this wig is incredible. Not only am I really digging the color, I think it looks really natural. Like look at this blend. I loved the really highlighted ends, like the platinum. That is just so stunning. And I wasn't sure like how it was gonna look on me just because I noticed that it said strawberry blonde and I lean more cool tone. So when I hear the word strawberry, I'm thinking, well, strawberry, like I think that that's normally on the warmer side but I could be wrong and I wasn't really sure like I'm not a hairstylist I'm not a colorist like I don't know for sure when I'm choosing wigs online especially if it's gonna work for me because I'm normally cool toned but this one I think like has such a perfect blend like I don't want to wear a wig that's just all cool toned because then I find like it'll wash me out like it's too one color but if it's got a nice blend which Ellen Villa does really well. Like, just, doesn't it just look beautiful? As I come in close, I really want you guys to see this. Look at the root system here. It's just, it's beautiful. And then this side, and then going to the lighter tips. Okay, I have thoroughly messed it up, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? She's silky smooth. It's really easy to run the comb through. And as you can see, like I've been sitting here talking to you guys, playing with her for a little while now, 
and she's looking really good. Like I can just run my fingers through. I can flip her around. Now, something I do want to mention is that this is a mono part wig. And when I take the wig off in a second, we will find out where the part is. But what I can say is that this lace front is feeling so good and looking so natural. Like, look at this. They have brought the light synthetic fibers up to the front. So you're not getting those dark knots on this unit. I really like that a lot. That just makes like a really realistic looking hairline. So usually I prefer wigs that have a mono top that covers this whole section. So you have like that whole parting space of flexibility because you guys know I like to sit there and I like to, okay, that didn't look good, but I like to sit there and flip my hair around. But with a mono part, sometimes you can't do that because it won't look super realistic parting it away from the part. Does that make sense? But this wig, because of the realistic lace front, I'm parting it in different directions here, guys, or at least flipping the front around. And she's looking pretty natural to me. So I'm not mad that it's a mono part and not a mono top. Look, if I flip her this way, same thing. I feel like you could definitely get away with like doing that on this wig. And does it not look natural? Like, I'm pretty close to the camera. I think it looks, I think it looks really good. So like I said, this is a heat friendly wig so you can put heat on her. Would I change her the way she is right now to something else? Nope, I like her. I like her quite a bit, just the way she is. I don't think I would change her at all, guys. You know, with heat friendly fibers, like with any wig, with any, any wig at all. Like you're gonna get to the point where you need to wash it and you need to refresh it. Um, the fibers will become tangled eventually after rubbing on your clothes for, for many months. It's gonna get to the point where it's like, okay, I need to refresh this wig, I need to wash her, and I also need to put heat back into her to revive the fibers to get the luscious, the lusciousness, is that a word? The lusciousness back into the wig. I actually did a video on how I like to refresh my wigs. It's like, it's foolproof. It's so easy. I've been doing it this way for years, guys. If you wanna check out how I wash my wigs, and you gotta do it like step one, step two. That's why I've like split up these videos. Step one is how to wash your wig. Step two is how to put heat back into your heat friendly wig to make it soft and luxurious again, to make it essentially like brand new. So if you wanna see how I do that, I will put the links below this video and up in the corner. So just click on those, you will be directed to it and just do it on your own wig. I swear to you guys, like this is how I've been doing it for years. It works so well. It's how my wigs have lasted years and years. So the density, as you guys can probably tell, this is a light density wig. There is not too much hair here. I am a fan of that. I think she looks really natural because of that. I really like the flips at the end. If you wanted to change her, if you wanted to make something different, you absolutely can because it's a heat friendly wig. Let's say like you get this wig and like this piece like flips in and you're not like that, but you get it if it like does this or something and you're like, that is not for me. I don't want to wear it like that. Take your straightener, flip it the other way. You're good to go. You can absolutely alter your wigs. In fact, please alter your wigs. Make them yours. So the front is 13 and a half inches long. The crown is 14 and a quarter. The sides are 14. The nape is 14. And I'll do a full spin around so you can see. Okay. Do you guys wanna see the baby bump? She's gotten so big. I am almost due. Can you guys believe that? I'm gonna be holding a baby really soon. It's wild, crazy. I'm so excited. All right, so inside the cap here, we've got the lace front and this is the part. The part is right smack dab down the middle, guys. So that's handy for a lot of us. A lot of people like to wear their part 
right in the middle but what I see here is that it is a wide enough part like look at that that's like this whole chunk right here so what you could actually do like that gives you quite a bit of parting space you could totally go down the middle or if you're a right side part or a left side part or you could totally just like like slightly move it off right and you're gonna fit in this what I was doing when I was flipping my hair around I was going wide apart so I wasn't even on the part and it was still looking natural mind you so what a mono part does guys is it makes it look like scalp when you have parted it there but that's not to say you can't flip your hair around and just not have the illusion of scalp. That's what I was doing essentially this whole video. And as you guys could see, like it looked good. It's not, you know, people, especially because there's roots. I would say if you get a wig that doesn't have roots, it might be a little more noticeable that there's no scalp appearing there. But on this one, because it does have roots, it's not a big deal. Got the velvet ear tabs, really soft. It holds it against your head. It means you do not have to glue this unit down. That's why I was able to just plop it on my head over my wig grip here. And like, she's not gonna move. She's not gonna go anywhere. And then we've got the wefted back. It's gonna be really cool on your head. It's gonna let a lot of air pass through. I didn't find it itchy. Sometimes I find wefts to be a little itchy on my head, but I wasn't sitting here scratching. I didn't find it itchy. And then the back, we do have the nape of the neck with the adjustable strap. So you can pull this tighter if you need it tighter, or you can make it a little looser if you need it to stretch a little more. I'm a petite head size, and I found that it fit me just perfectly. By the way, guys, if you want to know my exact measurements, I have them in the description of my videos. If you want to see like where a wig will sit on you, go down to the description because I have all of my measurements there and then you can just take your own measuring tape and measure yourself and you'll know like where this will fall on your on your head oh i just love wearing this wig i got this wig from wigs.com and it came really nicely packaged really secure in the box i love that they come in these nice boxes i always save the boxes guys and if you do end up purchasing a wig for yourself at wigs.com they do ship worldwide so you're covered there i also have a discount code steph25 and that will get you some money off if you decide to purchase a wig from their website and let me know if you guys have this wig yourself or you've experienced this color on yourself before like i said i think this wig is really pretty like i think it's a winner it's really beautiful all right guys thank you so much for tuning in here with me today hit that subscribe button if you like wiggy content because that is what i do here on this channel and i would love to have you back for another hangout session with me all right take care guys i'll see you next time